Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I just got done printing one of these so-called unclog purge images that Q Image generates and can schedule for you to print while you are away or you have nothing to print for a month. You can schedule it to do this every couple of days and maintain your printer nice and happy. Now I want to emphasize, although this is not the subject of this video i'm going to be making another one later on pertaining to this and that is i am printing with two cartridges that were declared empty about a week ago how is that possible well i disable ink monitoring i cannot show you right now i will save that for the next video where i will then go into detail as to how to accomplish this i'm waiting for one of the other cartridges to also go empty so i can walk you through the refilling process as well as how to disable ink monitoring so that is the goal i'm going to be running basically chipless on this printer for the time being at any time, you can convert it back to ink monitoring by just simply installing a single-use chip on your cartridge or just buying a new cartridge. That will bring it back to full OEM or default condition. Now, I want to talk about cartridges and how valuable these cartridges can actually be. And you say, well, once they are empty, I toss them. I throw them away. And they go into the landfill, unfortunately, right? We don't really want to do that. By the way, before I begin to get really deep into this, I just have my bone grafts. And basically, the lower jaw, right and left, they had to dig out some porous bone that I had, very bad, bad calcium levels. Uh, would have caused a lot of problems later on as I got older. Yeah, I'm 71 right now. So I went through that yesterday morning. They literally dug it out, and I don't know what they replaced it with. Supposedly, it is bone. Well, you know where that comes from, right? Cadavers. So anyway, I got some dead bone here. I got some dead bone here. I can barely speak. I have very swollen condition right now. But you know me. You can't stop me. So let's get going. So we're going to cover two types of cartridges. Now, here I have a bag full of CLI 42 cartridges, another bag full here. If you are a OEM user and you never intend to refill, don't throw these away, save them. You can sell them as they are empty for about $2, maybe $2.50, as much as $3 each. You can make sets together and sell them on eBay. People will buy them from you. Believe me, these can be reset, so there's no problem. We modify them, we flush them, we reset them, and then we are ready to be able to use them or sell them to someone else okay, for use. And that way they can just go ahead and refill. I got a bunch of others that I have already flushed here. And again, these can be relatively valuable. Now, another aspect that I was discussing with Mike from Precision Colors is this printer, we can refill those cartridges, these babies right here. We're going to modify a set of these by basically drilling a 5 30 seconds hole either here or here or even in the middle. This area on the upper edge is thicker, so it will allow for better sealing for that plug. And then we can just simply fill them with a syringe and needle. We don't have to perform the vacuum fill that we had to do in the beginning before we realized it's very easy to just drill out that hole and then install a plug. These are not pressurized, so you're not gonna run into problems with any kind of uh, you know, pressurization leaks. However, they are gravity fed, so you still have to have a good seal because if you do not, they will just drain out into your printer. You do not want that to happen, believe me. So anyway, to stay the safest way is to just go ahead and do the vacuum fill method. Now, when you reach empty, they can be reused by simply disabling ink monitoring, and I will save that process for the next video. But if you just simply don't want to do that, 
you're strictly OEM user, don't throw these out. Again, three to four dollars each. You can sell them. And people just simply have to buy a chip. Okay, Precision Colors sells them and they can go ahead and reuse those cartridges. Nothing really wears out. Okay, I suppose after a few hundred refills and inserting and reinserting into the printer, the old ring might suffer some wear and tear, but that's highly doubtful. Now, if you are refilling these, what inks are you using? Are you buying third-party inks throughout? If you buy from another seller, you will get nothing but third-party inks all the way across. How that matches your original OEM inks, I have no clue. But Precision Color sells the Signature Edition ink set, which includes OEM Yellow, OEM Red, OEM Blue. Again, the three important colors here. And OEM Chroma Optimizer. The other sets do not. Okay, let me emphasize. They do not. You get a full third party Basically, the generic set that they develop, that particular lab develops without any tweaking, without any kind of color matching or anything of the sort. And you may end up with a change as the inks that are living internally get used up and the new inks with which you fill those cartridges with is beginning to be utilized and it makes its way to the printhead. You may see some differences in color rendition or color reproduction. The PCSE inks, absolutely no, no difference at all. You will not see a difference. Therefore, you will have a seamless transition from OEM, which exists in your printer at this moment, if you have never done this, and of course, the new inks that you are introducing into the system. So having known that, then you can basically say, okay, I need to get a set of these cartridges. Well. Again, look for them on eBay. Look for them on eBay. People are selling these uh, empties. They don't know what to do with them, but they know they can get some money out of them. But if you choose to refill those same cartridges, these 80 milliliter cartridges with the best ink possible, which is of course original inks, then you have to purchase these large cartridges to get the best bang for the buck. These will run you retail about $300, okay? This is $60, okay? So keep that in mind, $60, you get about eight and a half refills. So do the math and you'll be able to tell if you're saving money or not. But I have a link on my description for 225 delivered free anywhere in the continental United States via priority USDS mail. So a lot more savings, a lot more savings per milliliter of ink, and that's where it really counts, the per milliliter of ink price. So the larger the cartridge, the less you pay for it, proportionally speaking. And you're able to then extract the inks out of here. Now you can do it any way you wish. I insert two little needles in here. The one on the left, if you hold it, notice this is not centered. So the port on, the, on this side, is the venting port. The port on the left is the one that actually delivers ink. So you insert a little short needle here, a long needle with your syringe, tilt it slightly like that. Make sure you do it over a sink because you might end up spilling some ink and then draw out the required amount, fill your other cartridge. Now, what happens when you have these cartridges and you are done, you have actually emptied them? Well, think about this a second. Think about this. A chip for one of these cartridges will run you $12, okay? Just the chip, not the cartridge, just the chip to be able to reuse those cartridges again. Guess what? You never really used this, did you? Does that ring a bell? You never really used this. So you still have a chip that was never used. It is full. It's worth money, okay? How much money? That's up to you, okay? You can modify these cartridges, okay? So that you have a fill and a vent. Again, a simple 5 30 seconds inch drill hole right here on the handle. This is all connected, it's hollow. There is ink inside here as well, 
okay it's not just here this is not separated this is actually a fully empty space including the handle so you can actually insert ink by the handle or do it on the side those little plugs that are very thin and and basically flat they do not interfere with the insertion of these cartridges so you can actually sell your empties that way ready to be used with a new chip that has never been used once and ready to be refilled i can refill these through the regular ports myself but it would be a heck of a lot easier to just simply insert your needle and syringe and load it with 700 ml of whatever ink you choose to use that's a lot of ink right but anyway again these are valuable and at some point i believe we're going to start basically exploring how can we take these and prep them for sale again with a fully never used level chip and that's the cool thing afterwards of course you'll have to look for some other option and that might be simply just rendering that channel without any ink reporting by disabling ink monitoring that's one option what about if you have an epson printer a p600 and you've been buying cartridges or even if we come up with a way to reuse those p700s or p900s again you can buy ink from large cartridges when you get them they'll be new they still have an operating chip on them okay all you're doing is emptying out that bag of ink you still have a fully working cartridge that would work all you have to do is fill it up with ink these cartridges some of them not all of them can be modified to be refilled i've done that with the cartridges for the 3800 3880 those are the t058 i believe t58s and so yeah that is possible the same thing goes with these these are again you can get these for 20 30 bucks and uh basically take the ink out these definitely can be modify for refilling you never use the chip so you still got a full chip and you can sell these empty ready to be refilled because you modify them to anyone who has an epson printer that will take these particular types of cartridges these are t60s those are t58s over there i think same thing goes with canon here's another type of canon uh, cartridge again draw the ink out and the chip is still good and what does that mean i can fill these directly through the ports again there's no nothing stopping me from doing that i can use all of the ink on this cartridge okay by refilling something small like a pro 10 for instance and then i end up with an empty cartridge that has or full capacity chip these can be refilled through the ports again reversing the process you insert a needle through the vent and you inject your ink through the ink exit port until it is full simple as that these are valuable do not throw them away especially if you have been doing uh refilling in other words using those large cartridges to refill your much smaller ones whether it's epson or canon again those cartridges have chips that are still brand spanking new and can be used you can sell the chip if you want to or sell the whole cartridge after you drill it out especially one of these right here and get it ready for refilling if you already own a pro 2000 modify your own cartridges okay and then just simply disable ink monitoring it would take forever to use one of these believe me the first time around you're filling the system okay but then afterwards you have a full system internally of ink and now you're just simply using ink it takes me a long time to go through my 80 milliliter cartridges so it's going to take you forever i know you guys you guys don't print that much neither do i so no worries disable ink monitoring make sure you weigh this when it is empty so you know the empty weight okay that way you never go below that you're going to top it off well before that danger weight is reached okay Whew. boy my mouth really hurts now this weekend we're going to set the clocks ahead one hour saturday night that's tomorrow i hope to be on sunday i'm going to try my best we'll see how much more i heal tomorrow how less swollen my gums and my tongue basically 
is if I if I get better tomorrow, then definitely I will be back Sunday at three. And I think they call it daylight savings now. So make sure you jot that down because you don't want to miss the show exactly at three o'clock Eastern time Sunday afternoon. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. And don't forget, we're going to talk about disabling ink monitoring. I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys. Thank you so much. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.